What is up guys, Controller Freak here, and we are back again today for another Tutorial Tuesday. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing well. As you see in the background, I have come up with a little design for a lot house with a working lot, seven floors all together, enough for storage, kitchen, bedrooms, extra storage, living room, more bedrooms, whatever you want to do with it it's up to you so let's go and have a look at it shall we alright here we are on the first floor you walk in not a whole lot of room due to the stairwell but you do have seven floors and each floor is pretty much identical with the exception of the wall color it changes and the rooms get a little bit smaller the higher up you go but not too much smaller and once you get up to the top you've got a nice view look around walk around your balcony and you have a lever here that operates the light above the lighthouse. Alright, enough with all that. Let's take a look at what we're going to have to have to build this thing. Now, I'm going to warn you, it's quite a few blocks, but it is pretty big. So, that being said, now, you don't have to use granite and quartz like I've used. You can use any block you want in place of any block you want. But, I do want to say that whatever block you use in place of the quartz, make sure that it's a block that has both half slabs and steps. And whatever block you use in place of the granite doesn't have to have steps or half slabs. Anyways, here's the count. You have about... 17 stacks of granite, about 17 stacks of quartz blocks, two and a half stacks of quartz steps, two stacks of half slabs, one stack of stone brick stairs, four stone brick stairs, that should have been stone brick stairs, not silverfish stone brick stairs, do not do that, 60 iron bars, two cobblestone wall, one door, about four and a half stacks of white glass panes you don't have to use white you can use whatever color you want I just chose white because it went with the build and again with the white glass stained blocks you don't have to use white whatever color and 66 torches that's the building blocks now let's take a look at the redstone it is quite a bit less than the building blocks there you go 16 redstone lamps, 8 hoppers, 4 observer blocks, 4 comparators, a block of dirt, and 1 lever. Alright, let's build this thing. Alright, to start everything off, you're going to need at least a 15 block by 15 block wide area. Alright, you're going to add. start by adding 5 blocks, then 2 one then we're going to turn two then five more again then we're going to go two one two again two three four five one two one one two one two three four five one, two, one, one, two. All right. This is what your circle should look like. That's going to be five high, and we're going to have three layers, two of them being polished granite. The single layer in the middle is going to be quartz. I'm going to knock out the center of every one of these to begin with because this is where your windows are going to go. 
you're going to put stone brick step there, stone brick step there, one there, and we're going to leave the front open here because this is where your door is going to go. All right. I'm going to go ahead and fill in the first layer, and then I'll get back to you. All right. Once you're done with that, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. You've got the 15 wide circle going all the way around. Sorry for spinning so much. Five high. And on the fourth block up in the center, you're going to take some stone brick steps. Should have mentioned this before. And you're going to add them upside down facing out in the windows. Make sure they're too high. Go ahead and throw some window panes in there. And you're going to do that on all three sides. The front, of course, gets the door. Go ahead and throw the door here. Step inside so the door sets in a little bit. And you can go ahead and throw down your cobblestone walls there. I'm going to put in these other two windows, and I'll be back. All right, these next two sections are going to be very similar to the first section. The only difference is the front door. The next two sections are going to have four windows instead of three. And they start out exactly the same. Just follow the same pattern all the way around. Do the windows exactly the same and they go five high. Alright, now that the quartz section is done, it should look like this. Like I said before, exactly as exactly the same as the first floor with the exception of the windows. There's one more window and one less door. Now, the next section is going to be made out of granite and it's going to be exactly the same. Five high, four windows all the way around. Alright, when you get done with that, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. And we can move on to the next section of the lighthouse. We're going to take our stone brick steps and we're going to start off right here. We're going to go ahead and go all the way around, placing things above the other windows. Once you get all four of them put in, we're going to go ahead and swap over to our stone brick step, or stone brick block, I'm sorry. And we're going to put one on the back of each one of these. Now we're going to swap back over to our quartz steps and we're going to go forward there, turn, two forward, half slab, these facing this way, turned, turned, just like that, half slab, these facing this way. You want these on the side facing the same direction as the ones here in the front. I'm going to turn this one sideways this one sideways half slab steps sideways forward forward sideways and we should be just about finished with that part there okay now you're going to take your blocks and you're going to go ahead and fill in this entire section all the way around right on the back of the steps okay now we're gonna go five high with every one of these blocks including the block that you already put there so that's one two three four five and we're going to do that all the way around, except for where the windows are. We're going to do like we did on the first three floors. They're going to look exactly like that right there. Throw a couple of window panes in there. Boom. And you're going to take that, and you're going to go all the way around. All right, once you get done with that, you should start to be able to see the transition in the lighthouse where it goes from bigger to smaller as it gets taller. Alright, this next section is 
it's going to be a, a lot of repetitive stuff in this build. This next section is going to be exactly the same, five blocks high. The only difference is, is you don't have the steps coming out the front here. Just like that. And the next section, being quartz, is going to be exactly the same as this. So, five high, window in the middle, on all four sides, all the way around. Five high on the quartz, five high on the granite. Alright guys, progress check. This is what you should have it looking like right about now. Start off with the granite, the quartz, the granite, transition, quartz, granite, quartz. Each one being five high. All five layers above the door has a window on all four sides. The layer at the very bottom with the door only has a window on three sides with the exception of the front which has the door. All right, now we're going to move on to our last and final floor, which, again, is exactly the same. This time it's granite, and it gets a cap. So we'll see you back when that's done. All right, we're getting closer by the minute. That was the last section. The only thing different about this section as opposed to the other sections is on the ends of this bit of five blocks here above the window, you're going to add one more quartz block granite block I'm sorry on each end all the way around on all four sides alright once you get that done go ahead and fill in the entire top here Alright, before we go any further with any of the redstone and the top of everything, we're going to go ahead and go all the way down to the bottom, and we're going to put in the floors and the stairwell, go ahead, leading all the way up to the top. I'm going to go ahead and clear all this out and replace all of this with quartz. Alright, once you get the floor in, we're going to go ahead and we're going to find the center because we're going to start the stairwell because it will make building the floors that much easier. We're going to find the center, just this block here, and then we're going to take the quartz, ah, granite, if I can get it right, and we're going to take it all the way up to the top. And once you get up to here, we're going to go ahead and clear out all these blocks all the way around it and we're going to carry this up two more all right that's two past the very tip top of the lighthouse tip top for now all right you're going to take your first step from the front door you're going to go to the granite pillar i got it right that time and you're going to place your step facing that direction like you're going to walk towards the side of the lighthouse then you're going to take your half slab you're going to put it there and then your next step just like that half slab on the back of the steps next step here half slab steps half slab and we're going to repeat that pattern all the way to the top of the lighthouse Alright, there's your spiral staircase. Should be going in the same pattern. Step, half slab, step, half slab, all the way to the top. If I can get in here. And it should end just like this. Again, two granite blocks above the top platform right now. Alright, let's get started on some floors. Alright. I chose granite for the floors. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you can exchange these blocks for any blocks that you want to. Did I say granite? I keep getting these blocks mixed up. Quartz. I chose quartz for the floors. 
again, any block you want to use in place of it, you can use. Just make sure the ones for the quartz have steps and half slabs that go along with it. All right, for the floor, let's go ahead and add some torches in. One torch above each window throughout the entire building, one above the door. All right, let's go ahead and put the first floor in. Now the floor starts out in between the top of the window on the first floor and the bottom of the window on the next floor. And it's going to continue that pattern just like that all the way up, even here, just like that. And it's going to cover the entire floor, you know, with the exception of the section where you're going to have to go around the steps. But you just go ahead and fill that in. And like I said, you just fill the rest of this in, you should be good to go. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and fill in all seven floors. One more time, I'm going to go over it with you. In between the bottom of the window on the next floor and the top of the window of the floor below. All right. And I'll see you once I get all the floors in. All right, once you get done with that, every floor should look exactly the same. Not going past the stairwell here. In between the stone brick steps, top and bottom. Torch above every window in the room. All right, and the next thing we're going to start on is the cover for the stairwell. Right here is our exit. So we're going to take, I'm going to go one, two, three, four. We go to the same thing right here, and then come down two. That's our doorway. Then we're going to come over three, four, go up, come over four. Same thing over here. Go up with it. All right. Now take one there and one here. Come all the way around, three across the top, three across the top here, and three across the top here. All right, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. Go ahead and take a torch and throw one above the doorway, and one in the center of every side all the way around. Except for that side, because it's got a door on it already. Doorway. All right, and these holes, you're going to go ahead and you're going to fill this glass in. And again, there's seven floors, and each floor is exactly the same as the other. Especially when it comes to the stairwell here. Alright, you're going to repeat this pattern on the other six floors, and I'll catch you at the top. Alright, once you get that done, all the stairwells should look exactly the same. You should have a doorway with a two-pane window on the front, six-pane window on all three sides other than the front and of course torch on the bottom of each window and then the torch above the door now we're going to go ahead and we're going to light up the stairwell and the block this represents the floor that we're actually on you can see the floor i'm standing on is the same block level as the side of that torch there and you can put a torch here and directly across put another torch and repeat that all the way down to the bottom. All right, once you get the inside all lit up, all the floors done, stairwell and all that good stuff, you'll be able to get up and down to the bottom, from the bottom to the top much easier. Now we're going to take our iron bars and we're going to make a balcony rail going all the way around to make sure that you do not fall off. On these corners, you're going to have to cut in on the corners. And then go ahead and take that all the way around. All right, once you get the rail in, we're going to come over here. And our second block in from the front corner, you've got seven blocks across here. You're going to go the second block in, and you're going to count one, two, three, four. You're going to place two pieces of glass just like that. 
you're going to skip there. See, that's one, two, three, four. And you're going to do the same thing over here. One, two, three, four. And you're going to do the same thing all the way around. All right, after the glass, you're going to throw a solid quartz block on top of the glass. Going all the way around. And we're going to take our steps. And you're going to turn a step. Step, not half slap. Turn a step. There. Just like that. And you're going to do the same thing above the doors here. And you're going to get your panes just like that. All right. See the way that looks? And let's throw a half slab on the in between here. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that all the way around. And we're going to do another one for you, real quick. Turn, forward, forward, turn. Turn, forward. Turn forward, and we're going to throw a block in there. Throw some panes on top of the steps here. And half slab right there. Half slab there. Same thing over here. And I'll check back with you in a minute. All right, once you get all four sides done, they should all look exactly the same. You've got the turn steps on the corner of the doorways here the forward facing steps there, two glass panes in the middle, solid block above the doorway here. All right, and now you're gonna take and take your solid blocks and go ahead and fill the entire rest of this in with solid blocks. All right, get out your glass blocks and you're gonna go three across there, hit the corner, corner, Three across here, corner, corner, three across. All right, after you do that, take your iron bars and put them on the last three blocks that are open there on the outside. All right, now we're gonna get into some redstone stuff. Let me clear my inventory and get the redstone ready. All right, now I've got the redstone stuff. You should have a pattern that looks a little bit like this. And you're gonna take your lights and you're gonna put three in each section that takes three. All the way across, if that makes any sense. All right, you're gonna take your observer blocks. Don't put them facing up, just like that. way it's facing in to this air block here there's going to be a light block there come all the way around all right and they should all be facing in that direction going in this general direction here all right you're going to take your comparator you're going to put a comparator in front of each one right. after that you can take and put your lights behind each observer block all right now we're going to take our hoppers you can just place that first one down just like that one into it and just follow that all the way around crouch place that into that and you're just gonna make a big loop with the hoppers is all you're gonna do and once you get back around to this first one that's facing down you're gonna want to take and face it into that one and make sure that you've got all the hoppers going into one another making a loop and then you can take your dirt, just throw it in there. And now you have a rotating light for the lighthouse. All right, you can take your lever inside and you can go right here. See right here, this is the line of hoppers that's going around. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna find a corner hopper. This will be a middle hopper, this is a corner hopper. You're gonna wanna stop the item in a corner hopper. Because if you stop it in a middle hopper, the comparator is going to see it and it's still going to light up the light that's outside. So you do that. 
cuts the light off. If I can get back in the door, do this. That light should come back on. You've got a rotating light. All right, let me get my building blocks back out and we'll finish the top up and wrap this thing. All right, this shouldn't take too long. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna start right here on this iron bar, half slab, carry that all the way across to the next one and right across those. Staying on top of the iron bars and the three glass blocks across each front. Leaving the two glass blocks in the back covered up. I messed up. All right, now go up, take that back out, and then we're going to follow this all the way around. All right, once you have that done, it should look a little bit like this. Like I said, you got five slabs across the front, staying on top of the iron bars, and then you skip up another half slab, carry that all the way around, connecting the corners here in the back. All right, now you're going to take your quartz before we go on we're going to go ahead and cover up the hoppers just in case anything falls in it won't mess up the rotation of the lights and everything will stay the same all right now we're going to take our granite blocks and we're going to go three across each side just like this I'm just putting one in the corner just to just to get me by to the next block. All right. Now once you do that, take your half slab and each corner throw a half slab. All right. Now come up and we're going to take our steps and in the center of each one of the three granite blocks, you're going to place a step. And then you're going to turn the ones on the side sideways just like this sideways all right and if I've got some torches in my inventory I'm gonna go ahead and throw a torch here a torch here and a torch there that way keep all the inside of that lit up don't have to worry about any mobs or anything spawning then I'm gonna take four half slabs cover up the corner of the steps on all four corners then we're going to get some more steps turn that way turn keep them turning going all the way around there you go we are done that's your lighthouse everything's good to go even looks good at night. Alright guys, that's it for me today. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you really liked it, share with a friend. If you want to see more, subscribe. And I'll see you next Tuesday. Later guys.